Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast show. It's a Thursday morning and it's so good to be in your company. Now, Symphony of Santur is set to enthrall audiences at the world premiere on Friday the 21st of February at the Artscape Opera House. And this world first concert will journey through Indian classical rags, folk and light classical music compositions rearranged by award-winning Santur player Rahul Sharma with the 100-stringed Santur as the starring soloist. And it's once again a pleasure to have you Thank here. You. Thank you. So uh, much. Completely fascinated with your craft, with uh, the instrument itself, and I'm sure that everyone is going to enjoy it so much. And earlier on, when we were listening to you playing and sound checking, Graham was saying that uh, it sounds a little bit like the sitar, but an instrument that is very, very different from the sitar. It's very different from the sitar. It's uh, actually one of the oldest instruments. Uh, you know, it's also mentioned in the ancient Sanskrit language called Shatatantri Veena, which means one of the oldest hundred stringed instruments. So we have a lot of tuning to do on this. <laughs> I can <laughs> but, only imagine. <laughs> but we find similar instruments all over the world. Mm -hmm. uh, probably with the gypsies during ancient uh, India, they traveled. Um, in Iran, you have a similar instrument called uh, the Iranian santur. The word santur comes from Persia, but during the Persian influence in India. So it's kind of way back that time. And then it traveled to Germany. It's called the Hakbreth in Germany. Uh -huh. In China, it's the Yangshin. In America, it's the hammer dulcimer. So it's a different version of this instrument, uh, probably closer to the harp. Yes. The ancient was the harp, and then from there, the other instruments came out, you know? So, so clearly one that has an impact, or has had an impact, all throughout the world, and you've now brought it to our shores. Well, well, it, it originally belonged to Kashmir, and my father and guru, Pandit Shiv Kumar Sharma, is the pioneer of this instrument, and I happen to be the third generation in the family to take it forward, and now, uh, taking it to different genres of music. That is extraordinary. And, and so tomorrow, on the 21st of February, at the Artscape Opera House, you'll be joined by a 46-piece Cape yes. Town Philharmonic Orchestra. That's right. For what I'm sure will be an extraordinary show. Tell, tell me about what people can expect from Symphony of Santur. Uh, so with Symphony of Santur, for the very first time, the Santur uh, will lead the orchestra. And we have uh, a variety of different pieces, starting from uh, something which is like I played in the in the beginning called Ahimsa Non-Violence, which was popular uh, during Mahatma Gandhi when he was here in South Africa. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we start off with that, and then we move into uh, folk from the region of Jammu and Kashmir. Uh, then we also move into blues, a bit of uh, world blues and how the Indian element comes in it. And towards the end, it's a rag mala, like a garland of ragas with uh, various different emotions and uh, the the roots of Indian classical music, emphasized with the sim, with the with the orchestra. Yeah, I also understand that there's um, a sacred sense around the space yes. um, of the santur, especially given the, the, the space that you played in. Explain a bit of that mystery. So I think uh, with Indian classical music, uh, you know, it's deeply connected to spirituality in that sense as well. Because if you look at the raga system, we have a 24-hour time cycle. So these ragas, a raga is simply a scale of ascending and descending order of notes. But they have, we believe it has an effect on the human emotions. So what you feel during sunrise is very different from sunset. Mm -hmm. And those notes touch your emotions. So each raga, for instance, a morning raga is different from an afternoon raga and an evening raga and a late night raga. So these are very intricately, uh, um, uh, you know, the permutation of notes is so special that it's uh, supposed to uplift um, and elevate the listener and also take them within. So it's also a meditative experience in that sense. Yeah, yeah. so that explains why, I'm, for instance, I'm now sitting here over here because <laughs> this is quite a, a sacred space that is created for the player of I guess it changes the vibe a little bit. Absolutely, yes. absolutely. Well, we're looking forward to hearing you play a little bit later on and also right. uh, for everyone out there who would love to see you performing live with that 46-piece Cape Town Philharmonic Orchestra, please make your way to the uh, Artscape Opera House tomorrow, the 21st of February. Tickets are available. I'm sure it's going to be a wonderful spectacle to behold.